Hello everyone, this is Brady with Lewis Motor Company and today we're taking a look at our 2010 International PB105 Short School Bus. This is the absolute perfect size for a schoolie or camper conversion and overall this bus is in nice condition. It's only got 168,000 original miles on an International Max Force DT Series 7.6 liter turbo diesel and an Allison automatic transmission. Inside and out, this bus is in good condition. I don't notice any major exterior damage, and no interior damage, although most of the time these things get converted to RVs and campers, so you're going to gut most of the bus stuff out anyways. But looking at the tires, everything looks to be in good condition with deep tread remaining. We've driven this bus in about 35 miles. It made the trip with no issues. And this is actually one of the ones that starts right up even after sitting for a few weeks. Usually the batteries die, but this one's always started right on a dime no matter how long it sits. It's one of the first ones that I purchased out of the fleet of 17 that I bought this year. And it started right up this morning when I went to go list it. Came directly out of Prince George's County Public Schools. That is the only owner this bus has ever had. They maintain these things to a T because they want to keep the kids in school. Overall, again, in nice condition, just like all the other ones have been. Got good deep tread on the rear tires. The frame and underside of these things are in real nice shape. The kids do not go to school when it's snowy or they're using salt on the road. So you can see that really shows the frames in nice shape. Just some light surface rust, but nothing major. We'll jump up inside here and we'll start it up. I've gotten a lot of compliments on these buses inside the interior here. There's not a lot of wear. They seem to take care of these buses. It all looks like it's still intact. You've got all your switches on the left side here. Now these buses just have heat only. They do not have air conditioning. That's how they have all been. There's the extent of your air conditioning, the two fans. We've got a 27,500 GVWR. Technically, this is a 34 capacity passenger bus. We'll go ahead and start it up. This is a hydraulic brake bus. Has a hydraulic parking brake, as you can see. Try to get the sun out of our eyes. We've got 167,875 miles at the time of this video. As you can see, it looks like all the gauges are functioning correctly. I've got no warning lights on the dash. The parking brake is on. That's why that light is on. But just a really solid running and driving bus. As you can hear, the engine sounds great. No abnormalities with that. But it is complete. It's got all of the seats inside. And overall, just in nice condition. They've all been in really nice shape, and this one's no exception. Plenty of room to do anything you wanted to for a schoolie or camper conversion. It's about six feet of, six and a half feet of headroom here. I'm six feet tall and I've got another half a foot and it's plenty of room for me to walk about. I've got all the specs inside the listing of this bus, but it's an open canvas once you get these seats out and ready to do whatever you want. It's a perfect size for a schoolie because you don't have a big bus that you're driving around these buses kind of blend in and that's what you want in a schoolie but this is known as a seven window bus obviously because it's got seven windows on each side and it is in my opinion the best size that you can get i've sent these buses across the country they've gone as far as washington state sent a couple to arizona one went to las vegas so these guys are driving these buses all over the place obviously these are hard to find buses if they're flying in and driving them home from that distance but it also has a lot to say about the mechanical of these buses i have not heard any bad things about them they've all made it with no issues and these things have been maintained and serviced very regularly i think they go through three inspections a year so these are just not normal buses. They're very well-maintained buses. Looking down the side of this thing, looks like everything is still intact, like I said. Got really good exterior panels on this thing. Obviously, 
probably plan on painting this yellow. However, it is in good shape. A little paint fade, but nothing too crazy. Just a really nice bus, just like all the other ones have been. All the tires are in good shape. Deep tread remaining. Now this tire has picked up a nail here. We're either gonna have this patched and uh, or re replaced. So I will update the listing if that gets done. But nonetheless, it's holding air fine. This here is for your rear heat. Most of the time, people will actually take this out. It's pretty useless because you do need the engine to run. And obviously, you're not going to idle this bus all night to keep heat on. So you can use an electric heater. I've seen some people even do a wood stove. In this compartment, it's pertaining to most of your bus stuff. So you've got all your fuses and wires inside here. Most of that stuff you'll probably just end up ripping out, but that's where that's housed. And these are your batteries. That tray will slide out, allowing you to either jump start or get power from your batteries. But nonetheless, this bus is in really nice operational condition. Now, that being said, we've driven it 35 miles. It's ran and drove fine for us. These buses are sold as is with no warranties. I haven't had too much to complain about on these things though. They've been very reliable and it seems like they've been very well maintained. We're gonna open up the hood so you can see underneath the tires. And uh, let me just show you this frame on this side. It's easier to see. frame is in really nice condition, a nice black color, hardly any surface rust. It shows very well. The engine's nice and dry, with no major leaks showing. Motor sounds great. Like I said, it started right up. There you have it. This is one of 17. I've only got four left. And that is gonna be it for the season. They sell them to me every year. They rotate them out just because of the year, not because of the mileage or any reason. It's just because of the year. Every 10 years they get rid of them. And this one got on the chopping block this year. But I'm very happy they did because I got a whole bunch of good buses and it's been a great year for school buses. So. This is coming down to the wire. If you want one of these, I do not have many left. I think I have three or four left, and that is it for this year. Uh, you'll have to wait till next year to get some more. It's a very hard size to find, and that's what everyone's been telling me that's bought these things. Obviously, if they're flying in from a couple thousand miles away, they are pretty hard to find. But nonetheless, a good operational, ready to run and drive down the road bus, ready to be converted or put back into service. You can check this bus out for sale on eBay. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a message. I'd be happy to help you. I can ship this bus throughout the United States. Call me and I'll give you a quote on that. We are Lewis Motor Company. We're located in Clarksville, Maryland, which is just outside of Baltimore, Maryland. If you have any questions on this bus or any of the other buses I have listed for sale, please do not hesitate to call. I've got this one, which is a 2010, and I think I've got two other 2011s and maybe one more 2010. But that's it. That's it for this season. Again, it's been a great one. But if you want one of these buses, I've got a few left. And do not hesitate. Thank you guys for watching.